Hello everyone, my name is Rita Jensen and I'm here to share with you a, a journal that I'm planning to make and I went over this a little bit the other day in the first video. This is going to be part two. I don't know how far we're going to get. I'm just going to go for it and see what can be done. Anyway, this is uh, John Henry Abel, I believe is how you pronounce his last name and I'm going to start uh, working on a journal in his memory. So. Um, the first thing I did was I did get um, some pages off of th this. This one here is um, um, I'm sorry, uh, Taylor Made Journals. It's her wallpaper design, and I thought that was kind of pretty. And I thought maybe that would go in the book. I don't know what will go in for sure, but that was one of them that I saw. This. Uh, page here is from Artie Mays. It's vintage uh, collection. I'm not sure what the actual um, name is, but I think it's vintage one or something, and you'll be able to find it. And I'll also link these at the uh, bottom of the description on my um, uh, video. These are some of the pages. I just saw her do these the other day. I think it's brand new. And I thought, oh my, that's going to look really nice in, in this um, old vintage looking um, journal that I'm making. So this is a red uh, color, this is a sort of a blue, this one is a taupey uh, beige color, and this one is in the greens. So I, I don't know where I'll use these, but um, I printed those out to um, add to this journal. Also, um, there's a few other pages that were printed. This is a line paper page. And on these, I printed on both sides so I could have some lines on the other side. And these are some other line papers that come with that same kit. And plus, and then this one is a little collage page. And this one here, too, I was kind of just laying it out. This one is a collage page here. And, um,. I think they're going to look really nice in this book. I didn't um, print all of them out because I don't know that I'll need them all. But anyway, those are some. And then I also found um, these postcards on um, New York Public Library. And then you just type in free digital. And these are copyright free. So you can anybody can use these uh, digitals. Uh, they are free. And as I was looking him up, he he is from Lakeview Park. Well, I'm not sure it's Lakeview Park, but it's Lakeview, Cleveland, Ohio. And or this is the park, and he is from the city of, of Lakeview. So I found this little image, and this was printed in 1900 or taken in 1900. And then this one is also, I think, maybe on the Ohio River. I'm not quite sure, but it came up at the same time. And since I'm doing kind of the steamboat or the cruise line ship stuff, I thought that would be kind of cool. I don't know if I'll use it or not. It's um, the city of Alfina, Alpena, Alpena, that's the name of the boat. So, or the city outside of that area. I'm not quite sure. Anyway, that's what I printed off there. So I have a few things printed up. Um, I'm going to use, um, I know this is a mess because I don't like pre-plan anything. I try to kind of get an idea of what I'm going to do, but I don't know what I'm going to do until I actually do it. So this is a baseball picture I showed you out of that book the other day, the calendar. And I'm going to cut this down and see if I can't put it into the journal on one of the pages. And then um, this little boy here came from this book that I wanted to use in the journal. I really couldn't find an exact um, thing to put in, but I thought as a child, uh, it says I held the trunk with both my hands and looked abroad on foreign lands. And I think that is um, indicative of what he is doing, what he's probably thinking as a child to come to the United States. That's just my thought. So it was very, very brittle, and I really couldn't use the whole page, so I kind of just tore this out, and then I put some um, cardstock behind it, brown cardstock, in order to um, give it 
an edge and then I thought I would put that on this page here because I like this blue that comes in with that and um, glue that on and that'll make a pocket area so that's just one thing I'm gonna do today at least I, like I said I I don't have a real plan for anything this probably doesn't need much ink because it's already dark actually that needs trimmed off a little bit and hopefully I don't jiggle the table today I'm gonna find a better way uh, to have my table set up but I had um, no intentions, in intentions of doing videos when I first started this so that's why it doesn't really it's not very stable stable enough to work on myself but not to show videos so I'm going to ink this up and I think I'm just going to glue this at the top of that page I don't know it just was kind of a nice little saying for one of the pages maybe I don't even know if I can get I may have to like rip the oh it is just so brittle it's funny how this paper and this is kind of like that children's book paper that is very soft in the first place okay I think that'll work all right, so let me um, <clears throat> glue this down here. Okay, let's see, I want to do that and that. Sometimes I forget just turning it over how, where I need to glue. I hope other people are the same way that forget what they're doing. Like seconds after they're doing it. Okay, this one I'm gonna put down with glue stick because it um, is so brittle and I didn't put anything behind it. And I guess I could just turn that a little bit so it fits on the page a little nicer. Okay, so I think that's kind of cute. Now that's going to be one of the pages, and then I'll, I have this little um, area here for a pocket. Put my lids back on. I, I forget to put the lids back on. So I have uh, some of the little cards here that are kind of vintage uh, tickets, uh, vintage tags vintage looking and I'll see if those any of those will look good or I will buy some not buy I will print some that I have it's a it's a good thing I have that um, uh, printer that has that HP ink I belong to that club so I can print a lot of stuff and it's not very expensive okay so I may even take this because it's so plain on the back and I may take, not, yeah, this is an empty page, and just sew around here like that on the outside, and then that'll be the inside page. And it just kind of makes <clears throat> the pages a little uh, stronger in the book, yeah, on some of the pages anyway. Okay, so let's see. I'm not gonna sit here and rip all these off <clears throat> right now because it, or cut them down it's time consuming I did a couple I can fold these there and um, I like to for some reason I like the corners curved I mean I don't like the square square corners so those probably need to be inked up a little bit so it's warm here today in Georgia it was very muggy for a couple days I don't know if it'll be that way today I've had a little bit of rain every every evening 
late afternoon. So it's really kind of refreshing. Okay, so let me see here. I'm gonna see if I can't put some pages together. So usually what I do is, I'm gonna set this to the side, is I'll put a stack of three. This here is a map of Ohio. And I think I'm gonna rip this one in half. Because I can get a whole page, out, two pages out of that. So I like to um, can't see my line. Okay, so that's Cleveland there, and the other side is. I think Oklahoma <laughs> so I may have to cover that and this is Ohio on this side so, so we'll have one in this one and we'll put one in that one I usually start off with three signatures and I kind of like that size of a journal One here is a copy I'll trim all this off and this one I'm probably I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with that one there's another side that I want to do here's another uh, wallpaper I have this is a Let's see if I can make a page out of I think I can just rip this. Okay, that makes a page. Put that over here. And I'll count all these out later when I get. this off here a little bit. It doesn't want to open. That's so weird. My hands just don't want to work with this. Okay, there's a page there. I'll stick that in there like that so I won't have such a hard time opening it. Okay, so there's one, two, and that one's got three. Here is a... I don't want that. That page. This is all going to be cut down, so I can cut this part down here right now. I'll save those scraps for collaging. And I'll cut that top off later. So a piece of coffee dyed here. I'll do those corners later too. You don't have to watch me do that. Okay, there's three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. And I coffee dye on a, a ivory color paper. <clears throat> I think it just looks better. I might have said that before, but I'll say it again if you didn't see it before. And I usually want about well, maybe 12 pages in each section. Three, four, five. One, two, three, four. Five. One, two, three. 
This is kind of an unusual paper. I got this from my, the lady uh, who sent me. Uh, I have another piece of that up here too. Maybe I'll get a couple of those um, from the Netherlands. So I guess it's maybe some kind of special paper from there. Don't know. So right now I'm putting mostly coffee dyed in, and then as I go along. Um, I may change them out for something else for one of the printed papers. This one here, so I have one of those in here, so I'll put it in there. And I have a doily, which can go anywhere. Music paper. will be cut down as well. wait on that one. I'll just cut. And that one's got the skater, but we'll probably end up cutting off that um, that name anyway. That one goes over there. Okay, so that those music pages I'll put over there for now. Well, this is this, this kind of paper here. Let's see if I have any more of that. We have this where we came from. I thought that might be kind of a nice little page to put in. Going upside down, but either way. Okay, these are copies of that. Another doily. Book pages. Now this page here is Dutch. This paper here is German, and this one is German. Okay, so we have three pages there. So let's see, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I don't count the doilies. And we've got a doily on that side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And this one could use another page. Um, but I may have to. Oh, here's one. This one was just one I printed out. I don't know where this one came from, but I thought that was kind of nice. So we're gonna put that one in. There. Okay, let's see, what else? That's pretty much it. Okay, so there's 11 pages, plus I have those other pages that these here I can put in. These, um, because I wanna put those designs like in each one. So I just think that gives it a lot of color. So, but I got to trim those off first before I start folding them up. Okay, so there's one set. Let me get a clip. Let me use this one. Okay. Another set. 
and then I'll see what's missing in a doily or you know I put paper bag type things in between and this just you know all kinds of stuff so that's my three sections right now this is one of the pages here so I'm gonna remember to put that okay so these guys here I thought I could make let me just use this as an example here that I could make a whole page out of these hmm. I just um, feel like this is what would be something that he would be doing during that time so anyway I'll, I'll cut those down because I'm not gonna sit here and see this one fits pretty much across there if I cut this it down looking for my Dollar Tree scissors they work really well and these little clips I got at the Dollar Tree I think there was six for a dollar and uh, I thought that was you know you never know if they're gonna work But anyway, I'm thinking that, you know, this is, I think this one here is 1897 was when this was done. Um, I'm not sure when he came to the United States. I know he was born in 1859. And when he went on this trip to Germany, France, Germany, yeah, France, Belgium, and so forth. He was 62 years old, so he probably had been in this country for quite some time by, by then. So I'm trying to find, to see when he, um, I have to look on family search for more documents of when he, because every time you came over on a ship or something, that was all documented. And so I need to spend time and really check out those those things. But even if I don't find out, the, you know, the it's just based on his the time frame. Okay, so let's see. If I take this and fold it there. about if I do it this way that way I could use that for a center page that'd be kind of nice for center so I want to cut this though down the same size as uh, the width of let me find a page that's been folded here this one because I need to cut it down there and there, and I don't think I'd lose very much at all if I cut that there. If I can rip it. I'm having the hardest time getting pages apart. save for a collage probably okay so now we have this one here hoping I'd have a little maybe a little time to work on a pocket or something today I mean I made that one little <clears throat> thing but maybe something else I mean I, I can do it off camera I have time but 
when I'm filming, um, then it's such a long time to download. I wish that it didn't take so long. I mean, probably if I had the correct uh, equipment, you know, better computers and all that. And if I got enough people to follow me, then I would probably, you know, invest in something like that. Okay, so now this side, I'm, I don't like those numbers. They're too bright and clean. So what I will do is I'll take one of those extra pages that I have. Um, maybe not that one because it's the one that's not double-sided. So like this, and I'll sew it onto here. Just like that. And then I'll have this on one side. So that's the deal for that one. Okay. So let me just put this in here for now, just so I know where it is. Okay, so this one here, need a tag for that, and I may need to sew something around inside that one. So let's do another one of these. This is just so cute. I don't know, maybe I can make that a center. I always like to find something for the center that's unusual. It's not that unusual, but it's still cute. I think I have to put something on that side. I don't know. Let me see. But I'll put this paper with it, so that way I can remember to do that. I'll we'll put that one in this one. Okay, so um, I had a plan to, you know, I thought they were all right here. Hmm. You don't see it anywhere. I don't see them. Oh, wait a minute, here they are. Okay. So I wanted to make, um, I saw on two channels, and I'm not sure exactly whose they were, but one was Scrapbooking With Me, I believe, and the other one might have been Gail Augustinelli's channel, but don't quote me, I, I'm not sure. If I find it, I'll put it below. But anyway, they did a um, booklet like this, and then it came open like this. And so, let's see, this is open at the top there. And I don't know that this these were open. I have this little window here, so I thought I could uh, cover this, but that window out there so I could stick something inside so that would mean I'd have to leave this open okay so let's see leave this open here cover this hmm. I may have to go back and revisit this yeah, I'm pretty sure that they covered um, this big one. Okay, let me see. And then this side. And then cover this so that it's covered up so that the envelopes are covered, the edges of the envelope. But I'm not sure where to cut them open. Um, okay, let's see. I think for to put tags in, I think I'm gonna cut this side open. I guess I can cover it first and then open it. Okay, let's just cover this with this 
paper. Trim this edge off here. It's awful when you watch these people doing these things, um, and then you go to do them, and you go, oh, "Wait a minute, how did I, how did they do that?" When you think you have it pretty much figured out. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is just I'm gonna run my glue st stick behind that. this to be going up the right way. Um, that's got to glue down that way. Okay, that's the right way. Oops, go down here and run along that edge. You know, there's a bump right in the middle of my table right here. This, that's what. This is a folding table that folds in half, and you can carry it. And that is the issue I'm having. that goes on top of that. is very sticky today too but that's probably the humidity but I do love this Scott glue Scott create I like this over here easier to rip it than it is to uh, sit there and cut. Yeah, this is probably harder because I don't have enough Here I will cut out a thumbnail, thumb area, so they'll know that that's a place that is a 
pocket to hold something. Just do this so the edges are nice and So now I have an Instagram page and a Pinterest. My granddaughter, she is, she said I have to have all those. So she's doing it for me. That's kind of interesting. A lot of people that I watch on YouTube have Instagram pages, which I didn't even know they had. Okay, that needs a little bit of glue. I keep putting this little pen, laying it down instead of putting it. Let's see, I don't think I want to glue. Yeah, I've got to... Not glue it down to the, beyond that area. So we'll see what happens with that. Maybe, um, Someone would like to follow me on those. Okay. Okay, so that's going to go like that. That's going to be glued back to there, but I can't. Yes, I need to glue that on before I put my last page on up there because it will show. Okay, so now in here I need to punch a half circle, and I hope that it's dry because if it's not, it won't punch. So I'm going to measure this as six inches, so the middle of that is three, which is right here. And then this punch, get that centered in the middle there, and go down about right there. Oh good, it's dry enough. Now, um, Edith, who's on scrapbooking with me, takes this little, yeah, let me see, and she glues this back down here. The only problem with that well, I guess it's okay. I'll ink this. Is that you're trying to show that you have that opening, but with the ink in there, that'll probably show it. I thought that was a clever idea. I think somebody showed it to her. Everybody shows everybody something. Okay, so... I'm going to put a little glue stick on the back of this. Let's see if I can't get it laid down right there where it goes. It's very quiet today. I don't even hear birds out there chirping. I don't know. Maybe something's happening. We have a hurricane coming. Uh, not here, but along the coast, but you know, the birds might think that there's some danger coming. Okay. I think that they can open that. See that? Let me put a tag in there and see. Okay. I guess the tag is going to go or a journal card or something. Hmm. I just feel like it needs to be 
I'm sorry if I don't have this together, but I guess that's part of the process. Okay, I'm not going to glue it down yet because I, I, I just feel like I need more space right there to put things in there. So I may revisit that video just before I do the whole gluing of it. And of course, this is this will be decorated out here. We'll make pockets and things out here. Okay, so that side's done. And now we've got to do this side. And I was thinking... Um, probably have the small... No, probably have it go this way. I don't know if I want an opening there then. Um... Okay, let me cover this side. Let's see, what color paper do I want? This page here that I could use. It's not long enough. Okay, I don't think I'm going to use that pocket. I, think I'm gonna... I could collage this totally separate, I guess, and leave this. Maybe I'll do that. Let me see what collage kind of papers. I have some of this little paper here. And it's just crumbling all up. those little straight edges. Something about doing journals or making journals and we don't like to have a straight edge. <laughs> and yet I used to make cards. I still make cards. But oh my gosh, you don't make any anything jaggedy. You always, everything is very precise when it comes to card making, at least the way I have learned how to, but now I'm beginning to think, you know, you can really kind of do just about anything. Okay, let's see what I have. I have that. That's 
a little bit too bright. was good. Good job. Hmm. A little too short. It's okay. I'll turn that edge off. Just getting too gluey. for a pocket. Okay. It's hard to believe it's um, the 1st of August today, Saturday. Uh, it just seems like Summer had just begun, and now we're okay. I don't know if I wanted to say St. Louis. I already have. I am not like some of the ladies who do this. I, I just don't put anything away as I go. I just have the energy to make it and I'm going to have to go more straight on this. inside that opening but maybe I will so I'm gonna leave it okay so how about um, a little piece of music paper here somewhere I'm sure I have other pieces of music paper paper that I printed some flowers on.
have just this one little piece up here, so I think I'll just use that piece since Not yet. Okay. Turn this off. Can't see the hole because there's so much glue on the edges. Okay. And then we may, you know, find something to put up down here. We'll find something. Okay, so put this back. Okay, so this one is gonna go on this side. This one is going to go on this side. Let me check. So I'm probably going to be done for time today. Maybe like if we leave this open, it'll be this way. And it opens this way and this way. So I just need to cover this side at this point. And then I'm going to review the um, actual video that I saw just to see where they cut because I know that they glued these to the backs like this and I just don't know where they if they sliced it at the top here or sliced it there I mean because um, I thought I could use like, one of these for a pocket plus I well this might be too big I have other postcards that I want to incorporate like I bought postcards at an antique store. I bought about, I don't know, 80 to 100. Well, you have to use them. <laughs> so that's what I was thinking in this one. I'll try to use as many postcards as I can. And then I go and print more. Only because I just thought this was cool that I could find something where he was from. Okay, so that's too big. So we'll have to cut this down. Oh, I don't want to because I don't want to lose this writing on it. Okay, but I'll save that. We'll use that somewhere else. Um, I've got these other postcards here. So I think this one is kind of cool. Yeah, that will fit. And that's, well, that's Reading, Pennsylvania, which is not that far from Cleveland on the east coast still okay so you know once I cover that I could put that or I can do a side pocket like this um, I don't know 
where that's from. Oh, Colorado. Must be the Colorado River. This is a cannery salmon, so it's probably up in Washington. Seattle, Washington. This is also the Northwest. Anyway, I will find, we've got these French ladies, but they're all going the wrong direction. That would be pretty though when, um, cause I could even take one of these and make it a tuck. Anyway, that'll be it for today, and I will come back um, hopefully soon and do another video. I'll clean up my desk <laughs> so you don't have to look at this mess, and we'll make some more ephemera to go inside the, the pages. Um, I, I like to leave my pages loose like this until I decorate and figure out where I'm going to add some lace or, or what I'm going to do because once you get in the book, it's really hard to handle it. Um, it's also kind of difficult to sew it in, but you know, it's one way or the other. Either you have a hard time sewing it in, or you have a hard time putting your ephemera in. So it's it's each, um, each person's preference, and sometimes I'll even sew it in and then finish doing a little bit more uh, of the ephemera after I've got it sewed in. Okay, so that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you soon. Bye-bye.